Oh, that was weird. There's a small glitch there. I'm not sure if you saw it. I'm gonna go back just a little bit just to see if that happens. Yeah, there's another small glitch. There's another glitch there. That is really weird. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is. I'm sorry. Wait, what? You can't hear me. Let me see if I can change it. Is that better? Perfect. Uh, this is Angelo. I uh, wanted to come back with an update about some of the Premiere Pro compatible M1 updates. So um, I was taking a look at the test footage that I, was, that I had used for my previous video regarding the update to Premiere Pro. And one thing that I didn't notice, I had exported both of those videos, one from Final Cut Pro and the other video from Premiere Pro. And one of the things that I did see um, is actually in the export of the final video, um, there are some image glitches that are happening horizontally across the image, um, quite a bit actually. So it happened 12 times from minute one, so uh, one minute and nine seconds. Um, and it happened 12 times between that and all the way up to um, almost two minutes within the video. So those are the timestamps of that um, test footage uh, video. And after the 12th time, I just stopped counting. Um, I actually didn't finish watching the Premiere uh, Pro version of that test footage video export. So because it, it was happening so much and it was either a very small amount or it was a huge chunk of the image just glitched out, it, it moved up or it moved down. Um, you can see some of it here uh, right now. So um, it, it was just really weird. And so I am gonna be using this exact video that I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna be editing this video in Premiere Pro. And I wanna see if the final export is going to have those same glitches. Now I will edit this video in Final Cut Pro as well, because if the export from Premiere Pro still has those glitches, then that's something that you guys need to know about. And then I will probably just, if that happens, I will post and upload the Final Cut version of it and not the Premiere version of it. And I will let you know that in the description um, down below, whether this was either the Final Cut Pro export or the Premiere Pro, um, sorry, Final Cut export or the Premiere Pro um, export. So uh, just thought I, I might let you guys know that. So um, it was per it didn't happen in the uh, 4K S Cine tone, 24 frames a second. I don't know if it happened in any of the, uh, um, in the other two versions of the ProRes or the 4K 60 but I know it happened from um, one minute, nine seconds. That's typically around the start of the 4K 24 frames in S-Log3 that was brought back, that was color corrected to Rec. 709. And it happened in that entire span of time. All right, <laughs> life with kids. Um, one of them came in, but uh, like I was saying, it, it happened um, in the entire video clip basically the entire clip of the um, 4K 24 frames a second S-Log3 that was color corrected back to Rec. 709. So I am I am recording this currently right now in S-Log3. Um, I'm gonna color correct it and do, and just edit everything in Premiere Pro. I'll also edit it in Final Cut. Um, so I, I have heard, um, you know, this was, I think this was last year that for some reason, especially in the color of a video in Premiere Pro, when it exports, it looks different than what it looked like in the playback video. That's one thing that I've heard of. Um, I don't know if there's any merit to that. Like I said, I haven't used it that much to even notice it. Um, but I know that I've never had any issues with Final Cut Pro having glitches in the final video that I sent out. And so for me, I like I said, I, I won't be using uh, Premiere Pro, but it is something that I do want to test out so that if you are considering, if you are a Premiere Pro user and you are considering upgrading to an M1 um, compatible silicon uh, Apple computer that you guys need to know about this because um, if it continues to happen I would just recommend staying with the machine that you have. Um, I will let you know about these updates in this video in the description. I am obviously going to be handling a lot of that stuff in post so we'll see what happens. Otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also I know I messed up on the sound levels of the music on that previous video, so I am remastering that video, um, fixing it, and I will re-upload it probably just before I upload 
this update video. So if you want to go and check that out, I will link it in the card somewhere. Um, and you can go to check out the remastered version of it. And so I also removed uh, a chunk of the backstory of my usage with Premiere Pro. Leave me a, uh, a, you know, a comment down below if you actually want that back in. Um, I didn't think it added any value for you guys. I think f for you guys, you guys really need to see what's happening in the actual programs um, with Premiere Pro. So otherwise, that video will be remastered and will be coming back to you. All right, so, all right, bye.